What's going on, guys? 2015 F-150 EcoBoost 3.5, uh, doing the thermostat. Um, I'm also doing the uh, AFE uh, tube upgrade here, along with the uh, BBK throttle body, um, which is over there. So I just wanted to, I wasn't planning on doing a video, but because I, I was going to figure it all out, um, and I knew it would take a while because I'm going to have to uh, stop and come back to it. But anyways, I'm on the thermostat here. So I got most of the stuff out of my way here. You want, you know, everything you can out of your way for doing this. All the videos were saying that all this stuff is going to come running out and everything. Got my drain pan down there for uh, that reason. So I just uh, pulled the housing and very little um, came out. You know, I can, you can see it's full. I didn't drain anything. Um, got all the lids tight. I figured if I kept on the lids, you know, it'd keep the air from letting it flow out. Um, so very little came out. And as you can see, uh, the way my truck sits, I'm sure that's helping a little bit. A um, little bit of an incline. So about to throw the uh, 170 degree thermostat. Oh, here it all comes. Okay, I'm going to pause this and um, throw this other thermostat in real quick. Okay, back. Um, that was a experience. So pulled the thermostat and that's when all the coolant uh, started coming out. So make sure that you have your new thermostat and bolts up here ready that you can just pull it out and stick it in and close it back up. So you can see now I'm uh, at the minimum, I was at the maximum, um, lost some coolant there. Uh, so anyways, hard parts done, got the coolant or the uh, thermostat swapped out, um, doing the AFE uh, hot side tubing. Um, and while I'm here, I'm going to show you so far so good. You can. Um, you can watch on Stage 3 Motorsports how they do all this to give you a rough um, experience on how to swap these out. Um, and my video, I'm just going to point out some stuff that I kind of ran into. So far, so good, except for one thing. Um, when I was pulling the um, cold or the hot side off, which I'm replacing, you shouldn't really have to pull the cold side off. So the hot side I was pulling off, and there was a hose that goes to this that was connected right here. And I'll show it over here, this hose right here, um, there's my uh, cold side there, and it connects into this right here, and what happened was when I was trying to pull it off, this tab, or uh, this right here, this little valve, popped off, so I got some epoxy around it, um, good thing is that the whole, the neck, uh, broke at the very bottom so I just drilled it out and then stuck it back in there and I got some epoxy drying and this tube will go over that um, so instead of pulling it there uh, this goes like that something like that pull it from here first when you're removing it um, because you got to get you got to pull this little tie right here to get that tube out your hot side tube out so you can pull this hose from right here instead of on the um, cold side tube anyways. So I'm gonna get back at it and then I'll uh, fill you guys in, thanks. What's going on guys? 2015 F-150 3.5 EcoBoost doing an overview of the AFE um, hot side tubing, I guess the cold side, the intake from the uh, intercooler to the intake tube. Um, also did a um, 170 degree thermostat swap and installed the BBK throttle body. Um, pretty uh, straightforward install. I just watched a Stage 3's video uh, to get a uh, rough idea of what I was getting into. Uh, a few things that I ran into. Um, I got another video that points it out, but just that tube right here that I broke off and had to fix that you're going to see on a later video, just make sure you disconnect it um, up here and not from 
the uh, intake to your turbo, the intake tube right here. There's a little hose right in there. Um, and the other thing is the hot side on the passenger side, this tube right here. Um, this rubber boot going to the turbo, I think, could have been just extended a little longer, or this, the actual tube itself, could have been extended a little longer. Comparing it to the stock one I pulled out, the neck in this area on the stock one was about an inch and a half longer. Um, so it was just extremely hard to get this uh, rubber boot situated um, with the length of this tube. Um, I think they just could have been a little bit longer to make it a little easier. You're going to be fighting their rubber boots that they provide. It's just uh, really hard to get on the uh, tubes, but um, you'll get it eventually. Uh, just be prepared to spend some time on this side. The other side was nice and easy, and then the um, cold side, I guess you would call it, coming from the intercooler to the intake was uh, pretty straightforward um, so overall um, I don't know if I can really recommend it because laying out the piping which I should have filmed for you guys to see I don't really see a huge um, difference in their bends and diameter of the piping um, I really kinda just picked it up because I was uh, watching the sale of the throttle body and saw that these were on sale too so I just said the hell with it but um this is definitely a um only if you got the cash I should say um which I don't but um not a necessary upgrade I don't think throttle body would probably be the better upgrade and maybe the uh cold side tube but the hot side tubes I don't think are worth the money um but I did it anyways, um, and I got it tuned with by five star. Um, so so far so good. Haven't noticed a huge difference, but I didn't think I was gonna. Um, so I'll ride it for a couple weeks, check my uh, MPGs, see if they improved at all, and then um, the throttle response. I was hoping to get a little more out of that, but um, overall. You'll see in the other video of the thermostat, um, pretty straightforward install. Just wanted to remind you guys to have the replacement thermostat up here with the bolts. So once you get everything out of your way um, and you take the housing off, you're going to need to quickly pull the old thermostat in, stick the new one in, and then close it back up so you don't lose too much. I lost, um, I would say not even a I think they're 32 ounce power aid yeah 32 ounce power aid I didn't even lose that but um this is what I was talking about Ugh, the neck on the old one right here this is the OEM tube this the uh, the new AFE is short about that distance and that's why I was having a lot of trouble um, getting it in there. So you're going to fight that side for a while. I got pretty pissed at it. had to walk away and come back. I don't know how the hell I managed to get it in there, but I did. So overall, um, can't say much about the uh, tubing. You know, if anything, get the uh, BBK in the cold side. Um, tube there. I don't really feel that the hot side tubes are necessary. They're pretty similar in a lot of ways from the OEM. Um, but pretty happy uh, so far. Got the thermostat finally. Uh, so far so good with that. So um, other than that, pretty straightforward install. Just uh, giving you a heads up on this little tube for the uh, intake to the turbo here. Just watch that if you need to pull this out of your way, which you will need to. Makes life a whole lot easier pulling this tube out. Um, and then uh, the fighting with the rubber boots for the, um, the pipe there. 
which was kind of a challenge. I didn't have any grease. Might want to uh, pick up some grease to help out. Um, show you the other side. There's the other side in there. What you want to do when you're installing these is pretty much just loosely fit, which is kind of hard because these boots are so hard to get on anyways, but you just want to, you don't want to clamp anything right away. You want to get it all in there where you can kind of fine tune it and turn the, um, the boots exactly at the right angle, um, you know, until you get it where you want it and then uh, tighten them all up. But overall, like I said, uh, pretty happy with everything. Just uh, took a little longer than expected. So if you guys got any more questions, let me know. Thanks.